was historically hot in June and certainly even more so in July. Uh, 82 going to school at 7 o'clock this morning, 8 in the morning, we're up to 86. So with that sun, we'll climb quickly through the 80s from 7 to 8 to 9 in the morning. But all things considered, it's calm and it feels fairly cool. Uh, leaving school this afternoon, 2, 3 o'clock, we're up around 102, 103 degrees, a few 10 mile per hour breezes, uh, low humidity. So if you're in the shade, it feels decent, but hot out in the sunshine, 105 after all, 106 tomorrow. We're going to bump the numbers up a little bit Friday through the weekend, around 108, 107 degrees, respectively. Uh, this is a bit above average. No record heat or anything like that, though. So the weather pattern has been aloft coming in from the west uh, the last day or two, which is why our humidity has dropped off. Uh, you know, we've been tracking that heat dome all summer long, and it's going to set up over New Mexico by the end of the week and into the start of the weekend. Uh, a little more organized ridge of high pressure that way will pull our weather up from the south and the southwest by the end of the week and the weekend. And yeah, that's going to draw some monsoon moisture back into our forecast, but not until I think Saturday and Sunday does it start to feel a little humid, but the humidity and the heat do yield at least the, the slim chance starting Saturday of a stray shower or thunder shower. And at the very least, we'll just feel that marginal humidity kind of picking up as we head into the weekend. But some small 10, 20% rain and storm chances uh, across what will be a pretty hot weekend. I mean, we're 108 Friday, 107 Saturday. 107 Sunday, breezy Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even next week, bit above average, guys. That has been the theme so far this summer. Yeah, pretty much all summer long, Justin. Thank you.